in the tranquil embrace of a secluded Zen garden, where the serene sounds of nature harmonize with the whispers of ancient wisdom. A Zen master sits before his attentive disciples. The soft rustling of leaves and the gentle trickle of water from a nearby stream set the stage for a profound lesson on the elusive nature of happiness. My dear disciples, the Zen master's voice carries the resonance of deep understanding and timeless knowledge. Today, I shall share with you the essence of what unhappy people often overlook. There are eight truths that, when forgotten, weave a tapestry of misery in our lives. Let us explore these truths together and illuminate the path to genuine contentment. Firstly, he begins, his gaze sweeping across the gathering. Understand that action may not always bring happiness, but there is no happiness without action. In the stillness of inaction, we become stagnant, like a pond left untouched. It is through purposeful action that we stir the waters of our soul and invite the ripples of joy. Secondly, the master continues, his voice a soothing balm. Happiness can exist only in acceptance. When we cease to resist the flow of life and embrace our circumstances, no matter how challenging, we create space for happiness to take root. Acceptance is the fertile soil where the seeds of joy flourish. Thirdly, he imparts with a knowing smile, happiness often sneaks in through a door you didn't know you left open. It is in the unexpected moments, the unplanned encounters, and the serendipitous events that happiness often finds us. Remain open to life's surprises and let go of rigid expectations. Fourthly, the Zen master's eyes twinkle with wisdom. Remember that the happiest people are not those getting more, but those giving more. Generosity and selflessness unlock the doors to profound joy. In giving, we receive, and in sharing, we find our truest selves. Fifthly, his voice grows more contemplative. It is not easy to find happiness in ourselves, and it is not possible to find it elsewhere. The quest for happiness is an inward journey, one that requires introspection and self-awareness. External circumstances may bring fleeting pleasure, but lasting happiness resides within. Sixthly, he continues, his tone both gentle and firm, the two enemies of human happiness are pain and boredom. Pain, both physical and emotional, can cloud our perception of joy, while boredom robs us of our zest for life. Embrace challenges and seek new experiences to ward off these adversaries. Seventhly, the Zen master leans forward, his words a profound revelation. Happiness is the absence of the striving for happiness. When we stop chasing an idealized version of joy and simply live in the present moment, we discover that happiness has been with us all along. It is in the here and now that we find true contentment. And lastly, he concludes, his voice a soothing whisper, the first recipe for happiness is, avoid too lengthy meditation on the past. The past, with its sorrows and regrets, can imprison us in a cycle of misery. Release the chains of yesterday and embrace the gift of today. The present moment is where life unfolds, where happiness resides. The Zen master pauses, allowing his words to sink in like gentle rain nourishing the roots of ancient trees. His disciples, eyes closed and hearts open, absorb the profound teachings, feeling a newfound sense of clarity and peace. In this garden of wisdom, the master continues, let us plant the seeds of these eight truths. Let them grow within you, nurturing your soul and guiding your actions. Remember. Happiness is not a destination, but a journey. It is the path we walk, the choices we make, and the way we embrace each moment. With these words, the Zen master concludes his lesson, leaving his disciples with a renewed sense of purpose and understanding. They bow in gratitude, their hearts alight with the flame of insight, ready to carry the wisdom of the ages into their daily lives. As they disperse, the garden remains a silent witness to the timeless dance of enlightenment and the eternal quest for happiness. The Zen master's teachings, like the gentle breeze that rustles the leaves, continue to whisper their profound truths, guiding all who listen towards a life of joy and fulfillment.